Daniel Carlton Gydasek GHYD Sheck, September 9, 1923 to December 12, 2008, was an American physician and medical researcher who was the co-recipient with Baruch S. Blumberg of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1976 for work on Kuru, the second human prion disease demonstrated to be infectious. In 1996, Gaidasek was charged with child molestation and after being convicted, spent 12 months in prison before entering a self-imposed exile in Europe, where he died a decade later. His papers are held at the National Library of Medicine in Bethesda, Maryland. Biography Early years Gaidasek's father, Karol Gaidasek, was from Budosko, Kingdom of Hungary now Smerdaki, Slovakia, and was an ethnic Slovak who was a butcher. His maternal grandparents, ethnic Hungarians of the Calvinist faith, emigrated from Debrecen, Hungary. Gaidasek was born in Yonkers, New York, and graduated in 1943 from the University of Rochester, where he studied physics, biology, chemistry and mathematics. He obtained an M.D. from Harvard University in 1946 and performed postdoctoral research at Columbia University, the California Institute of Technology, and Harvard. In 1951, Gaidasek was drafted into the U.S. Army and assigned as a research virologist at the Walter Reed Army Medical Service Graduate School. In 1954, after his military discharge, he went to work as a visiting investigator at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research in Melbourne, Australia. There, he began the work that culminated in the Nobel Prize. Kuru research Gaidasek's best known work focused on Kuru. This disease was rampant among the South Four people of New Guinea in the 1950s and 1960s. Gaidasek connected the spread of the disease to the practice of funerary cannibalism by the South Four. With elimination of cannibalism, Kuru disappeared among the South Four within a generation. Gaidasek was introduced to the problem of Kuru by Vincent Zegas, a district medical officer in the Four Tribe region of New Guinea. Gaidasek provided the first medical description of this unique neurological disorder, which was miscast in the popular press as the laughing sickness, because some patients displayed rhesus sardonicus as a symptom. He lived among the four, studied their language and culture, and performed autopsies on Kuru victims. Gaidasek concluded that Kuru was transmitted by the ritualistic consumption of the brains of deceased relatives, which was practiced by the four. He then proved this hypothesis by successfully transmitting the disease to primates and demonstrating that it had an unusually long incubation period of several years. He did this by drilling holes into chimps' heads and placing pureed brain matter into the cerebellum. These animals then developed symptoms of Kuru. This was the first demonstration of the infectious spread of a non-inflammatory degenerative disease in humans. Kuru was shown to have remarkable similarity to scrappy, a disease of sheep and goats caused by an unconventional infectious agent. Subsequently, additional human agents belonging to the same group were discovered. They include sporadic, familial, and variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Gaidasek recognized that diseases like Kuru and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease were caused by a new infectious agent that had not yet been identified. Further research on the scrappy agent by Stanley Prusiner and others led to the identification of endogenous proteins called prions as the cause of these diseases. While Gaidasek's work is generally accepted by the medical community, some have questioned whether cannibalism was still practiced at the time of Gaidasek's research. Willem Ahrens, an anthropologist known for his criticism of reports of learned cannibalism, claims that Gaidasek never actually witnessed cannibalism himself. Researchers who worked with the four in the 1950s claimed that cannibalism was suppressed in 1948, almost a decade before Gaidasek arrived in New Guinea. Ahrens further alleges that the stories presented as evidence of four cannibalism often contradict each other and contain elements of sexism and racism. According to Ahrens, the decline of Kuru coincided with the arrival of Europeans in the area in 1961, an event that caused many substantial changes in fore life and could have led to the improvement in health conditions. The last explanation given by Gaidasek before his death was that women using the grandfather's brain to rub on their children's skin retained scraps of the brain under their nails, and that when they scratched the child's head looking for vermin, they inoculated the disease. 
Rubbing the skin was not sufficient, according to him, for a transmission of Kuru. The decline of Kuru is linked to the establishment of schools and medical stations, owing to the pressure exerted by Gaidasek upon the local Australian authorities, and the construction of new villages with more modern amenities, such as running water close to the houses. In contrast, many other researchers, including Robert Klitzman, S. Lindenbaum, R. Glass, and Kuru field researchers at the Papua New Guinea Institute of Medical Research have documented reports that confirm the practice of cannibalism. Gaidasek became head of the Laboratories for Virological and Neurological Research at the National Institutes of Health in 1958. Fellow laboratory chiefs included Ernst Fries and Marshall Warren Nirenberg. Gaidasek was inducted to the National Academy of Sciences in 1974 in the discipline of microbial biology. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Child molestation allegations. In the course of his research trips in the South Pacific, Gaidasek had brought 56 mostly male children back to live with him in the United States and provided them with the opportunity to receive high school and college education. He was later accused by one of these, now an adult man, of molesting him as a child. Gaidasek was charged with child molestation in April 1996, based on incriminating entries in his personal diary and statements from a victim. He pleaded guilty in 1997 and, under a plea bargain, was sentenced to 12 months in jail. After his release in 1998, he was permitted to serve his five-year unsupervised probation in Europe. He never returned to the United States and lived in Amsterdam, Paris, and Tromso, which has 24 hours of darkness around the winter solstice, whose isolation helped him do more work. Gaidasek's treatment was denounced in October 1996 as anti-elitist and unduly harsh by controversial former Edinburgh University psychologist Chris Brand. The documentary The Genius and the Boys by Boss Lindquist, first shown on BBC4 on June 1, 2009, notes that. Seven men testified in confidentiality about Gaidasek having had sex with them when they were boys. That four said, the sex was untroubling, while for three of them, the sex was a shaming, abusive, and a violation. One of these boys, the son of a friend and now an adult, appears in the film. Furthermore, Gaidasek openly admits to molesting boys and his approval of incest. The film tries to understand not only Gaidasek's sexual mores, but also his deeper motivations for science, exploration and life. <laughs> Death and legacy Gaidasek died December 12, 2008, in Tromso, Norway, at the age of 85. He was working and visiting colleagues in Tromso at the time of his death. Haniya Yanagahara's 2013 novel, The People in the Trees, is based on Gaidasek's life, research, and child molestation conviction. The novel centers on a character named A. Norton Perina, inspired by Gaidasek, whose research is conducted on the life-extending properties of turtle meat in Micronesia. Topic works Topic Books Acute Infectious Hemorrhagic Fevers and Mycotoxicosis in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics 1953, Washington, D.C., Walter Reed Army Medical Center. Topic articles and monographs Daniel C. Gaidasek published hundreds of articles in scientific and medical journals. This is an incomplete list of some of the more cited ones. Gaidasek, Daniel Carlton. Unconventional Viruses and the Origin and Disappearance of Kuru. National Institutes of Health, 1977. Gaidasek, Carlton, Daniel, Gibbs, Clarence J., Alpers, Ma. 1966. Experimental Transmission of a Kuru-like Syndrome to Chimpanzees. Nature. 209 5025-794-796. Bibcode, 1966 Notor.209-794-g. doi, 10.1038-209794-a0. PMID 5922150. Gaidasek, Daniel Carlton 1957. Degenerative Disease of the Central Nervous System in New Guinea, the Endemic Occurrence of Kuru in the Native Population. New England Journal of Medicine. 257 974 978 doi, 10.1056, NEJM 195711142572005. 
PMID 13483871. Guidasek, Daniel Carlton 1985. Hypothesis, interference with axonal transport of neurofilament as a common pathogenetic mechanism in certain diseases of the central nervous system. The New England Journal of Medicine. 312 11, 714-719. doi, 10.1056, NEJM 198503143121110. PMID 2579335. Gibbs, Clarence J., Carlton Guidasek, Daniel Infection as the Etiology of Spongiform Encephalopathy Creutzfeldt-Jakob Disease. Science, 165 1023-1025. Bibcode, 1969-SI.165-1023-G. Doi 10.1126 science.165.3897.1023 PMID 5804726 Topic references topic further reading Anderson Warwick 2008 The Collectors of Lost Souls Turning Kuru Scientists into Whiteman Baltimore JHU Press ISBN 9780801890406 LCCN 2008007840. Rhodes, Richard 1997. Deadly Feasts, Tracking the Secrets of a Terrifying New Plague. New York, Simon & Schuster. ISBN 0-684-82360-8. Topic external links Gaidasek's autobiography, written at the time of his Nobel Prize in Hungarian current autobiography in Hungarian Carlton Gaidasek on IMDb D. Carlton Gaidasek Papers MSS 421. Special Collections and Archives, UC San Diego Library.